Another big tournament and another big title for the greatest of all time. On Sunday in Paris, Novak once again came out as champion and recorded his 40th Masters 1000 title. To mark the occasion, here are the 5 things I loved about 2023 Paris Masters. Number 1. I can watch Novak play without worrying about the result. The GOAT race is over and so is the anxiety that came with it. At this point, Novak is so far ahead of Federer and Nadal in records and achievements that the so-called GOAT debate has become a joke. Without the pressure of having to win every tournament, us Novak fans can sit back, relax and just enjoy tennis. Number 2. Watching the haters squirm on social media. The trolls are scraping the bottom of the barrel with the arguments that they bring up these days. And it's such a joy to observe their delightful meltdowns. It's safe to say that the smart Federer and Nadal fans have left the chat and the only ones still arguing are not the sharpest tools in the shed. Number 3. Sinner refusing to play because of poor scheduling. ATP and tournament organizers suffered a public humiliation after Yannick Sinner abandoned the tournament because of scandalous scheduling. His second round match started after midnight and finished at nearly 3 in the morning, leaving him only 14 hours to recover before the next round. While some of the inadequate scheduling can be attributed to incompetence and greed of the organizers, scheduling has also been used as a tool to favor some players over others. I will cover this topic in detail in another video. Number 4. Alcaraz losing in his first match. While Carlos at times seems like a decent guy, he is clearly enjoying preferential treatment from tournament organizers, the media and even the ATP as they suddenly, out of nowhere, allowed coaching this year. Alcaraz is obviously the new project of the forces of evil and I love when their plans fall apart. And finally number 5. By far my favorite thing about 2023 Paris Masters is Novak's statement about pursuing records. He said, quote, I'm going for all possible records, all that I can break. I've never had a problem saying that and that's why people don't like me. And now comes the best part. But I didn't pretend like others did to say that something is not my goal and then to act differently. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.